So, this is the setup for the big show. So, everybody is so uber goober excited. Could you see the enthusiasm in everybody? I'm all hyped up. Got my goofy socks moving around here. Excitement. Yay! Excitement. That's, that's gonna be right there. to do a show and I was I was like okay maybe it, something small you know just a few little things showing what we could do a few other things that we could do uh, but then when we started talking about it and hearing about the production and all all the stuff that Luz was planning and then we're giving ideas and I'm like geez this is like going to be a full out like kind of Hollywood style kind of thing but just on the same Martin level which is just as big so don't underestimate preparing was like being at everything, seeing all the practices, knowing the people, getting to know like what each person had to do and figuring out their costumes with loose, um, setting everything in place and then when she got everything that we needed to start placing them in the order that we need to have them in. So it was very hectic um, but at the same time the fact that we had such a clear idea that Luz had such a clear idea of what she wanted and how she wanted to portray it and how she wanted it set up, it made it just a, that much easier, a little bit, to um, put everything in order. Things can go wrong. You always have things that someone might, mightn't come. Uh, you mightn't get that much people as you want to come to the show. If someone, one of the cast got sick and then it's a missing person and we, we can't do this or things wasn't in place on time, if he didn't have the place prepared on time, starting late, if electricity would go, <laughs> for sure, that was my main concern, you know. If electricity would go, if there was, wouldn't be no water, the weather as well, even though we look at the forecast, and if it would say it's sunny, even though we're inside, people tend to say, oh, it's raining, it's gonna be a flood, you never know. They wouldn't come to the show, and then it's a big flop. After so many years, Luz ha Lucinda has been planning this, this is like a dream come true. It was like finally it's happening because we've been planning like years and not to see it finally come true. It was like, whoa, are we ready for this? Are we really, really ready for this? Because I mean, we do 
different shows. We have the Scaretopia, we did Easter, we have Christmas. But this was like our event, like a big event. And we're doing it two days, three performances. It was like, are we ready? And that is unacceptable. That's makeup. Now, we need to start. to describe Fantopia. Diverse. Great. Family. Phenomenal. Incredible. Home. Spectacular. Nurturing. A majestic place. That's two words. <laughs> but the majestic. Nobody, absolutely nobody has the same personality. Fantopia gave me a, a place to go to, you know, it was like it was kind of a job, but at the same time, it didn't feel like a job. Dancing is something I always wanted to do. It's the love of my life, and this period of my life, I wasn't so sure if I wanted to study dancing abroad or has have a dancing career. And to be honest, when you're working in Fantopia, even if you don't want to, you're gonna be inspired by other people. You're gonna be, you're gonna look up to other people and. I always looked up to Luz because she was always inspiring and she always used to go for everything she wanted and you know her visions, she used to make her vision come to life and you know she always pushed all her Fontopians and I happen to be one of them she pushed too. So I end up saying you know what, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna study for dance and that that is where I am today. Me actually reaching out here to come all the way to the Netherlands to actually follow my passion as a dancer. I didn't want to do anything else but dance and uh, right now I still do nothing else but dance. I, uh, without Fontopia I think I wouldn't be this far to be honest. To have this push, to have this motivation and drive to uh, be here and do what I'm doing. I wouldn't uh, pursue animation if it wasn't for Fontopia. Fantopia is like what pushed me more into the art field because I was thinking on getting like a normal job and I worked a normal job for a period of time and that wasn't for me so art is art is the way it's freedom I was um, I used to live in myself at the age of 17 and going there was a way to cope with everything I had time to spend with other people to talk instead of being by myself all the time. 
I didn't really have a way to let out my emotions. I was in my box. I was very anti-social. I'm not as social <laughs> as others, but I'm getting there. It brought me out of my shell a lot, and it actually showed me that I was a little multi-talented, and it showed me that I really had a great love for dance. I was really going through a lot, and with you just throwing me in the fire with the gigs, it actually helped me to gain my confidence and know my, sh my strength. It helped me a lot from within. It helped me to bring out the person that I am today. I socialized a lot. I met new people, you know, and I got a little recognized within the company, you could say. And I did a lot of things that I never saw myself doing. One, it gave me my first actual job, and then it gave me my second actual job. So, and it was both entertainment. I didn't even think that I can be able to actually get paid dancing and just entertaining people because I always felt like that's something that I had to do. Now, you interested in joining Fantopia? Here's my advice to you. Be yourself. Be yourself, be free, you know, open up, even though, you know, it has, might have some that might take time to open up, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, with one family, you know, you have my back, I have yours. I would say, what can you bring in the table? How can you bring your personality forward? Like those kind of questions you would have to ask yourself first before you would really consider trying to join Fontopia. Because Fontopia is really having a personality out there what uh, drive people or that. You know how to have people interact with and how to get the crowd in control, I would say. Don't let others tell you it's not a job that you should be doing. Don't keep yourself in the 9 to 5 mindset. Fontopia can be a very dynamic place you can explore different things find what you like and that can help you also in the future on the next episode of the Fantopia show web series so don't give up on the youth um, don't give up on Fantopia we have a lot in store and that is not just for us and ourselves it's not about uh, filling our pockets or being a, a, a business that just generating money but we're out there actually changing lives